Derek says that neither of you brought me assets into the marriage. Mm. Well, I had my trust fund and a sparkling personality and the futon couch. Yes, Addison had a very ugly, very heavy futon couch. Well, whatever happened to that couch? We gave it to Mark. Mm. She can <clears> have him. I don't want him. Okay, well, that's settled. What else? So, aside from Addison's trust fund, which remains in her name, we'll split everything, stocks, bonds, 401ks, down the middle. The only thing that gets a little complicated is the real estate. Let me make this uh, simple. I'd like to keep my trailer in the land in Seattle. Addison can have the rest. Hold on. That's the house in Hamptons and the brownstone overlooking Central Park. Hmm? That's very generous, Dr. Shepard. Thank you. Hold on. He's up to something. Mm -hmm. I came here to fight over CDs and books, go to war over Crystal Vaz. What are you up to, Derek? The divorce is my fault. Let me take responsibility. We both had affairs. You had a one-night stand with Mark. Derek, actually... Well, it was... Our, okay, it was t two nights. We made a mistake. Meredith and I, we had a relationship. Make these changes, and I'll sign it today. You're back. I am. You look, uh, good. Without an appendix, it suits you. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm great. Feeling well? No pain? No pain. Oh. That's your wife. I'm on her service. Oh, okay then. I won't stay there with Okay. Hi, I was Paige by Dr. Montgomery Shepherd. Dr. Gray, welcome back. Thank you. And um, it's just Montgomery now. What? My name. The divorce was finalized this morning, so Montgomery. To add to our fun, we've been asked to consult on a case where a woman has a foreign object stuck inside of her. <clears throat> oh. It hurts whenever you move. Ooh, keep your weight off my bad knee. Sorry, I thought it was on the left side. 19 years of marriage, you'd think you'd have that one down. It appears that her husband is the foreign object. Ex-husband. You had to go and get a piercing. Zinia. What? It's not like they're not going to find out. So embarrassing. No, embarrassing is meeting your husband for lunch with your ex-husband still attached. How long is this gonna take? Because I really don't want my husband finding out. Please, could you work out some small miracle? First of all, we have to figure out what the piercing is caught on. Okay. Do you have any piercings? Me? No! Oh. Sorry. We've been divorced for five years, but we keep running into each other. You know, work stuff. We get together sometimes. <clears throat> it's stupid and weak, and it is never happening again. But, um, you, you might want to cancel your lunch plans. 